we ever had much of a chance. No one told us they had an entire goddamn army. I don't think anybody knew. Crazy shit. Yeah. It's all crazy, pal. Non-stop insanity. Thought I left all this shit behind. Easy gig, you said. What a fool I was to get involved in this madness. What is it with you in interior design? Huh? You, you really know how to give a place a great lived-in feel, huh? This is beautiful. Fuck off with the fucking wisecracks. Really, I'm not in the mood. Okay, sorry, bro. The boss wants to see us, so let's go, come on. Second, I'm not feeling so good. Bon dia. Ela se estava aí? O que que a senhora acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, não? Tudo bem. Ah. You fucking pair of clowns! I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save. I, I, I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy. Is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot. This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. It feels like nothing good can come from living in Sao Paulo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Branco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. Yeah, it was humiliating, embarrassing for sure. But now this is different. This is the end for Well, she's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. If you do as I ask. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you. But things will get better. For all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Becker? Senor? Let us give you a ride. Bom. Até logo, senor Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Becker. Até logo, senor Branco. So many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. The men I talk to, they only see money. Now my wife. I am not naive. She does not love me for my body. Well, despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> 
Am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just another rich fool, just like the rest of my friends. Com licença. Tenho uma ligação para o senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva. Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Another bent cop wanting a pension contribution. Do you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? Look at me. I'm a mess. O que está acontecendo? Meu Deus! Sim, pode entrar! Senhor, temos um problema. O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that! We got men entering the building, and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. Uh, there's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars, and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. My God, was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm done, Max. Sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Down behind the desk, now, both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Aqui com você debaixo da mesa. Let's go, come on. Okay, I'm coming. Come on. The real security guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comforting thought. This code should get us into the portal. Okay. Glad to see the security system is keeping the right people out. Ah, oh shit! What the hell? Such luck. We gotta go. It's through here. The server room is just past those cubicles. These clowns were the same guns for hire who jumped our exchange at the stadium. Crotcha Prado, the black badge. Right-wing paramilitary chumps protecting whoever paid the most. I guess that made them more like me than I cared to admit. Were they just looking for another payday, or did their business with the Broncos run deeper?
that server back online. Can we just spend a few more minutes? Make sure they're all gone? Come on, don't worry. I got your back. Poor kid was scared shitless. But I thought we'd seen the worst of it. Okay. The, the server room is just down here. You're doing good. Come on. Hey? I just... I didn't think I'd have a day like this when I wake up in the mornings. <laughs> Wish I could say the same thing. Hmm? Fact was, I'd gotten used to protecting Bronco in the big bad world. We hadn't anticipated a siege situation here. Hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell the kid that. Something told me these guys didn't have security clearance. Be able to fix this or what? In a few minutes, eh? I should be able to reboot the system, get all the components back online. What about Bronco's office? That's all I care about. You should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. All right, well, whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodrigo's. The security system was back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. Seemed like breaching the perimeter had been no more difficult than strolling through the front gates. But hey, who needs a Trojan horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dork, and a drunk? Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. Your guy's working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max, try not to completely destroy the place. Let's just concentrate on staying alive. Sir! There it went. He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building, for what that was worth. They could invoice me. Hmm, graduation shots of Rodrigo, Victor, and Marcelo, educated at rich kid finishing schools all over Europe. No wonder they had the common touch. Poor girl was dead, shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time.
looked like we had seen the worst of it. The elevator would take me back up to Rodrigo's office where we could wait the rest of it out. I didn't know what the hell I was going to find up there, but I sensed it wasn't going to be a stripper bursting out of a cake. Senor Branco! Senor Branco! I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max. Open up. Can you hear me? Eu já tentei. Senor Branco, open up! I'm going to try to get in there from the roof. You find the security guard and get the hell out of here. Yes. I knew there was another way in upstairs for the helipad. The little luxury runaround that kept the rich looking down on the poor literally as well as metaphorically. Rodrigo! 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 Of course, he was dead. Clean, one shot, a professional job. I began to look for clues. I couldn't get playback on one of the cameras and it looked like the disc was missing. Someone in this building was trying to keep things low key. But then why had everyone else come driving through the goddamn wall? Fabiana. Even if the man who employed me was dead, his wife was still out there. Maybe she could be saved. Maybe some good... Ah. Picking the photo from the broken fragments, Something caught my eye. Figures. Only blind luck it meant the blast wasn't fatal. If I'd been out for any longer, the smoke would have gotten me. to death. Look at me. I've been contracted to protect two people. One was being held in some hole. The other was sitting at his desk with a bullet in his head. And the company that had its logo on my paycheck was melting on top of my head. There's no way one bomb could have done all this. Unless the place was made of gasoline. This whole joint must have been rigged. The kid hadn't made it. Fuck. I had to make this corpse looting coward pay. Getting his gun was more than just expediency. No one would be rebooting his system. Poor bastard. Fabricast Bronco is falling apart quite literally. Uh, 
Despite his manners, I'd done him a favor. This didn't look like a room where Rodrigo closed multi-million dollar deals. It looked like a fiery hellhole. So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trick would be a high wire act with a fiery pit for a safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. Someone up ahead was hurt pretty bad. If he didn't die before I got to him, I might get some answers. Hey! Why? Why Rodrigo Bronco? Why did you come to kill Rodrigo Bronco? We came to kill you! Because what you did to us! You killed so many of us! What reason did this poor bastard have to lie? He would be dead from shock or loss of blood in half an hour, even if I didn't leave him there to burn. Where's Fabiana? Fabiana Branca, where is she? The Commando Sombra got her up the hill. Then it was up the hill for me, I guess, where the gang held sway. I had to try to figure out who was using these angry paramilitary clowns as some kind of front to kill Rodrigo. Rodrigo Branco was dead. Fabiana was held hostage. I had no idea who was behind any of this. I felt like a fool. I was a sweaty, gray-haired mess. This place, well, this place was gonna kill me, too. I could see that now. I decided that I was gonna die sober, not drunk. Ah! At least then I would see who shot me. It was time to take back control from whoever was out to get me. And if I didn't flush them out, at least my midlife crisis would confuse them enough so they did something stupid. It was the only hope I had. I knew I wasn't thinking straight. I'd been drinking and popping painkillers for years. I had a liver like a French goose and skin like red leather. Well, it wasn't perfect. In fact, it wasn't much good at all, but it was going to have to do. At least I was facing in the right direction.
Tá ligando, hein? Alô? Alô, Victor. Max? Max, you're, you're, you're alive? Of course I'm alive. We did not know this. We are lost, Max. Our brother was everything to us. I understand. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry about your loss. Both of you. Rodrigo was a good man. I failed him. I, but I was tricked. What happened, Max? I don't know. Some guys from the crush of Prado came into the building downstairs, so while me and the security guard were dealing with them, an assassin must have come in and executed your brother. I, at least that's how I think it happened. No, you killed him, Foha. You killed my brother. What are you talking about? I, I understand you're upset, but please, why the hell would I do that? To get his money, to take his money. How am I getting his money, Marcelo? Please, think. I worked my ass off for your family. I saved your life twice, or more. And right now, I'm going to get Fabiana. Where is she? Where is Fabiana, eh? She's in a place called Nova Esperanza. How do you know this, Max? One of the Crotcher Prado told me just before he died. Please, bring our sister-in-law back to us, Max. Our family is being torn apart. So I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow, like rich fools the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was due a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. <laughs> I had no idea where the hell I was gonna go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now was being ritually sacrificed. I've had better ideas. But then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. E aí, gringo? Get lost, kid. Eu me amarro nos estates. Que você precisa de ajuda, senhor? Speak English? Ah, uh -huh, falo sim, sem problema. I need to know if you ever seen this girl, Fabiana. Come here for a second. Look at her. I know lots of girls. Sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Down there? <laughs> Isso. Jesus. This way, come on. At least I had found myself a tour guide. The way I see it, there's two types of people. Those who spend their lives trying to build a future, and those who spend their lives trying to rebuild the past. For too long, I've been stuck in between. Hidden in the dark. What was I really doing walking in there with my bad haircut and ridiculous shirt? Was I there to make something right? Or was I just using a messed up situation to indulge myself? Grasping at some desperate delusion of control. Maybe the two went hand in hand more than I cared to admit. <laughs> I had stumbled into some kind of street party. This was the kind of reality Americans paid top dollar to see. Slums had become tourist attractions, places where yuppies could gawk at the endless spirit of the poor from the inside of their bulletproof buses. I felt dumb and exposed. 
I missed the booze. Not that it mattered, sober or drunk, I was hardly undercover. I stood out in this place like a streetwalker in a monastery. <laughs> Continua dando caralho! Que porra é essa que você tá fazendo aqui? Como que você sai entrando aqui assim? Anda, anda, vai pra lá! O que você tá fazendo aqui? Eu tô te perguntando! Eu te chamei aqui, porra! Easy, pal, easy! Ah, então, você é americano de merda! Look, I didn't mean any offense. Me dá só uma razão pra eu não te matar, seu americano burro! Desculpa, amigo, por favor! Passa tudo que você tem, viado! Pega o dinheiro dele, pega o dinheiro dele! Ah, relojão, hein? Passa aqui. Dá logo! Dá logo! Da puta! Valeu, mano! Bem-vindo à favela Nova Esperança! Agora não, fora daqui! All things considered, I was gonna have to look on this as a good outcome. I was deep in gang territory. These kids were raised hating clowns like me. Middle-income ass-kickers who protected the rich by shooting kids like them. First day off the sauce and somehow I'd still ended up in the gutter. If there was one thing I'd learned since I'd been here, it was that Brazilians came out of the womb kicking a ball. And for kids like these, was there one legal chance at a ticket out of here? Desculpa, hola. Fala inglês. I'm a little lost. Perdido? Onde estou? Está no lugar errado, rapá. Não compreende. I need a phone, a telephone. Bora. Publico. A gente não é centro de informação turística, não. Well, they weren't going to help me. And who could blame them? I was a dumb American in a place where dumb Americans were less popular than the clap. If I was going to find my way out of this mess, I was on my own. It looked like there was a bar up ahead. The irony was not lost on me. I figured sobriety was no use to me dead. Ah, meu, passo baseado. Ih, não tô a vez não, passa aí, meu. Aí, tem Mr. Mando Wilson, mano? O que esse cara quer? Aí, bela camisa, hein? Tu perdeu o fusão, meu. I hoped this classy looking establishment would have a phone so I could call Passos. Either that or a gun so I could shoot myself and save these kids the bother. Hey, got a telephone? Telefone, vai lá no fundo, segue em frente. When you're stuck in a foreign country and you don't know the words for reverse charges, and you're in some lonely skin joint in the middle of some poor slum, having just had every last cent robbed from you, and you call yourself a bodyguard, then you know you're a loser. Hey, Matt, can I buy you a beer? Do I know you? I don't think so. Look, if you're gonna shoot me, to make it quick, I'm a little busy. <laughs> if I was going to shoot you, I wouldn't waste a beer. Wait, come on. I'm trying to dry out a bit, so just a soda, please. Sure. Why don't you go sit down? Guaraná pra ele. Um choque pra mim. Bem gelado. Interesting haircut, by the way. I meant to tell you that. <clears throat> yeah, well, 
Wilson da Silva. Very good to meet you. Nice to meet you, I think. Although you'll forgive me if I promise never to employ you as my bodyguard. You did a great job watching after Rodrigo Branco. Fuck you. <laughs> you were set up. Bet your ass I was. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever seen this guy? Sihano. Yep. He's a real sweetheart. Yeah, he sure put his gang out of business. But don't worry, those guys, they're a small fry. This is the guy I'm interested in. Neves. And this is his little buddy here. Milo Hegel. They work for this vigilante group. Rasha Preto. Yeah, I know him. Well, they're very popular with right-wing politicians. Like Victor Branco. Now, you see, many years ago, he helped clear some villages on a bit of land. Rodrigo Branco wanted to develop. Rodrigo Branco? Yes, he did some very bad things. Anyway, have you ever seen this guy? Maybe at the stadium. I knew you were involved in that business. You know, I wanted to investigate that, but I got an order to blame it on some local street kids instead. Tell me, what happened there? Nothing. We simply went to hand over some cash to this guy's clowns for a, a ransom exchange when this guy's clowns jumped us and they shot everybody. Apart from you and your boy Passos. That's right. But we had to shoot our way out of there. <laughs> they let you go. <laughs> it's okay. It's a little weird right now. But I know that Victor Branco is involved in all this. I just don't know how or why. And I know that the Ufe are involved in all this as well, but I just don't know how or why. And you know what's gonna happen? The moment is gonna come along when I put all these pieces together, and at that moment, someone is gonna come along and put a bullet in my head. Anyway, listen. I think you might want this. Thank you. I'll need it. And if it's Fabiana Branco you've come looking for, I think she's up the hill. So why don't you just go get her? I don't know. I'm a cop. I mean, I'll fight corruption. I'll stand up to the rich and dumb, but if I go up that hill right now, I'll be dead in three minutes or less. Maybe you too, Max. You're in the jungle now. So it appears. If you survive the next hour, let's speak. You help me. And I'm gonna do what I can to help you. Good luck. I didn't know what to make of what this guy had just told me. What was true and what was just someone else's convenient bullshit. Then some less than friendly locals came in and found me in the wrong mood to party. Hey, Green. What are you doing? No comprende. Leave me alone. Do you got something for me? For you? I'll tell you what I got. I got a gun, and if anybody thinks they're gonna take it from me, they'd be dead wrong. Super!
É o gringo? Ah, não sei. Não tô vendo porra nenhuma. A gente desce ou não? Foda-se. Isso aí... Isso aí já era, não vale a pena, não. É certo. Vamos lá. O fireworks display was clearly in my honor. Making sure everyone knew to roll out the red carpet for their surprise guest. I was walking into another not so welcome party. These hoods didn't look like Commando Sombra. Not that I was going to get picky. This was clearly their turf, and I just shot up their favorite skin day. I was getting nowhere fast. The cold turkey was messing with me, like I was looking through another man's eyes. I needed to focus. I could hear a woman screaming. I thought I'd found Fabiana, but instead I'd stumbled across some testosterone fest. A bunch of young punks with guns killing time the only way they knew how. Nova Esperanza wasn't exactly a dinner and movie kind of place. I recognized the hoods who jumped me earlier. I was trying to decide whether to crash this party or turn back, when my natural grace and finesse made the decision for me.
These bastards look different, tougher, more capable. They didn't look like Serrano's boys, but I could tell I was moving up the food chain. I hoped Fabiana wasn't going to be served up come feeding time. I'd have felt worse taking someone's medication if everybody in that place hadn't been trying to kill me. I was running the risk of becoming too clear-headed. Massos had told me about this stuff. Oxidado. They called it rust, packed full of healthy ingredients like quicklime and kerosene, cheaper, stronger, and deadlier than crack. 
easily marketed to the poor and desperate. All in all, a fine, honorable way to earn a living. I couldn't find any clues in this place, so I decided to do my bit for the drugs trade. somber territory. If Fabiana was still alive, she couldn't be far away. That much security, it had to be Serrano's pad. Since I was in the neighborhood, I figured he wouldn't mind if I dropped in and thanked him personally for his hospitality. It wasn't like he wasn't expecting me. to hope the king was in his castle. As I approached the spot, I could hear raised voices. And I saw that Marcello had turned up with a suitcase full of money along with Fabiano's sister, Giovanna. I only understood a little, but things were not going well. I wasn't expecting quite so many armed goons, but there was no backing out now. I would just have to act harder than I felt. Put the guns down! Let the girls go. No one needs to die, asshole. Don't you kill her! Don't you! Okay. Here I was again, with all hell breaking loose around me, standing over another dead girl I had been trying to protect. I'll give you a minute, buddy. We'd only been married a short time. By now, she had been dead longer than I knew her. I still hadn't really forgiven myself for the Mona business, but I knew that was just grief. The insanity that comes with losing the life you had built. Michelle, I missed her with every part of my being. 
I hated the world for not killing me with her, and I hated myself for allowing this to happen to her and our little girl. But I knew I had to leave town. Excuse me. Max Payne? Somehow, I didn't think he was about to tell me I'd won the lottery. All of a sudden, I didn't need that time by myself. Passos was down the hill and I had to catch up to him. If anything happened to Passos, it would be my responsibility. I knew I shouldn't have gone there, and that Passos might have to pay the price for my sentimentality. Sorry, I just had to say goodbye. Ah. You okay? I will be once we get out of here. I get the feeling those weren't the only guys DeMarco sent after us. Got that feeling too. I started to wonder if my luck was about to run out when I realized it had a long time ago. That's why I was here. There he is! The money's mine! That's if there's anything no. left to identify the body, Swift. You good? Yeah, I'm okay. Lots here weren't cheap. I'd take a freebie. Hey, come on. Hey, wake up. Let's go. There he is. Hey, how you doing? You heard about the thing? Hundred thousand dollars. I'm not fucking around. I'm not even. You know what? I don't trust Joey. The troops had arrived. Either DeMarco had thrown an army at this job, or he'd put a high enough bounty on our heads to attract every contract buying scumbag on the eastern seaboard. Yeah, yeah, but how are we gonna know who whacked them? Huh? I got hollow points. Yeah, look. We all got hollow points. Look, we'll split the bounty nice and even. All right? All right? Fair. That's I look, all. I look like a fucking socialist. Yeah. An aid worker? Yeah. 
We'll work it out together. Okay? Look. Cuz, I'm not giving no handouts. I'm not giving no handouts. Not asking for a handout. We're out here uh, working. Whatever, whatever. Shut up, whatever. Just don't shut whatever up. You say. There he is! Right? Go, just go, look. Just go, look. Go, go, go. Oh! Yo, this guy's a fucking asshole. I don't want to do this. Ah! Asos had put some distance between himself and the goons. I meant to follow. I got someone. I think it's the hit. That Max Payne. The other guy might be here as well. Where you at? I need cover. Over by that circular thing. The hit. Kill him. He's like Latino or something. Just oh, hit. Aim at the other one. Just hold on to him. They didn't have much of a reason to keep Passos alive, whoever they thought he was. Saying goodbye is painful. Look, man, just be cool, okay? Be cool. Don't tell me to be cool! You Max Payne? Who? Hmm? Very fucking funny. Whatever. You're Max Payne. I thought he was fucking Max Payne. Confusing, huh? Hey, you make one more move, and this guy, whoever the fuck he is, is gonna get fucking dead. Look, man. Give yourself up, and the marker might have a change of conscience, huh? Might grant you one last reprieve, me. Ain't no reprieve, man. Gonna be found otherwise. I don't even know who he is. I'm gonna kill him!
Holy shit. What the hell is going on here? Don't worry about it. Just get out of here, okay? It sounds like a fucking war is going on. Calm down. Some poor bastard quite literally on the graveyard shift. Must have been wondering why there were suddenly more bodies above ground than below. Sniper! Shit! All I can hope for is that he didn't even hear the shot that killed him. Get down! Shot came from the top of the mausoleum! Up in the tower! This is the only way through. If I lay down, come. Can you move up on him? That's anyone's guess. that my head gets blown off. Run, duck, flank. Easy orders to give when you're way behind the front line. Great. very successfully as things turned out. Freeze! I suppose to what? Disco dance? Shut the fuck up, half-cast! Turn around! Turn around! Move! Move! Hold it! That way, you fucking jokers. Move! Where are we going? Hey! Take it easy. You killed my son. You killed my fucking son. My boy. My only son. Listen, I'm sorry. Fuck you! Sorry for your loss. But your son was killed in gun battle. A battle he started. Shut your fucking mouth! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! No! <sighs> Fuck you. You killed my son! You fucking spick! You killed my son! Dig! Now! I have to admit, I almost felt bad for the guy. Dig! Sure, he had lived a bad life, but I, of all people, knew that living with this grief would be payment enough for any sins. Still, perhaps not so bad that I was prepared to dig my own grave and let these goombas kill me without even getting some dirt on their hands. Your body ain't gonna bury itself, dig, motherfucker!
morgue. How appropriate. I guess they helped with the grief. Hey, Psst. this way. Up there. Go on. Go, go, go. You can go first. Yeah. All right, gentlemen. Thank you. This place looks about as good as any to make a stand. At least the coroner won't have to go far to go to work. <sighs> like I said, Paso's always had a good sense of humor. We gotta find a phone. I got a connection in Queens who can help us. Huh. All right. Spread out! And clear every room before you move on. We don't want to miss these damn fools. Our SOS was gonna have to wait. Find that phone. Make a call. There's got to be a landline in that office, man. Okay. I think we'll be all right. Yeah, at least for a little while. Call somebody, get a little help, and we'll get out of here. Hey, hey, it's me. Look, we really need to get out of New Jersey. Yeah, the things are heating up. We got like half the New Jersey mob after us. Uh, and a cemetery in Hoboken. Here I was again, halfway down the world, and still looking at the bodies of women I was supposed to protect. Only difference now is I didn't understand the language. Haven't you figured out I don't speak your fucking language? That's right, I may be a moron. But here's the thing. I ain't quite as dumb as I see. It was time to get out of there. It seemed like someone had decided to carry out some impromptu justice on the street life below. I'd failed Rodrigo and I'd failed Fabiana. And that awful nightclub in the stadium with the docks. I'd been given enough chances to make this right, and again, I'd blown it. Perhaps this was my punishment from the fates. Keep reliving the same mistakes for all eternity.
It was a goddamn war zone. I had to assume Giovanna and Marcella were out there somewhere. Maybe I still had a chance to get somebody in that family through the day in one piece. The place was swarming with cops. They weren't there for me, as far as I could tell. And I'd blundered my way into enough cluster fucks for one day. If these fools could buy me some time, I might have a chance to get to Marcello and Giovanna before somebody put a bullet in their heads too. Giovanna and Marcella were still alive, but I didn't hold out much hope they'd stay that way for long. I'd already lost the ransom money, got the hostage killed, and I was only just getting started. This was turning into another fine example of private security work. Renathugs and body armor sending a message to the pool that the cops are still in charge. When they hit the favelas, they came in hard and fast. It was fair game, as I was about to find out. of me getting out of there alive, let alone Giovanna and Marcello, were narrowing with every passing second. <laughs> there was a danger of this starting to get too real. still alive, 
and still not all that happy about it. Why did the easy way out never come? Maybe I thought I didn't deserve it. Jesus Christ, these bastards weren't playing games. These were the same paramilitary cops I had seen executing fools after the failed kidnapping at the party. Nasty business. If these were the guys De Silva was worried about, maybe he had a point. Yes, this was definitely them. Jesus Christ, these bastards made the NYPD look like the Harry Krishnas. I couldn't make much sense of what I was seeing, but I had the feeling it wasn't that strange for anyone else. I had no option but to take the scenic route. These charmers weren't there to make a couple of arrests. They were bussing them out by the dozen. But who was I to cast judgment on proper police procedure and justifiable use of force? <laughs> It seemed like as good a place as any to lie low and get my bearings. Problem was, some other fine gentleman had the same idea. I'd gone from out of luck to unarmed and shit out of luck. Another reminder, not that I needed one, that any low point can always go lower, as my new friends were about to find out. It was Sao Paulo's finest and a busload of lucky winners they picked out earlier. I decided I might as well follow them. I was lost and they were going somewhere and it was the closest I was going to get to a plan. Where were they taking them? Did they have Marcelo and Giovanna? Was this just an average favela raid or something more? When all you're left with is questions, I guess your only option is to go with your gut. And my gut was telling me that band of merry men would lead me to some answers. Answers I'd soon wish I'd never received. What was going on here? 
They look like the same paramilitaries from the stadium and office attacks. Something felt wrong. In fact, everything felt wrong. Anytime those guys decided to join the party, you could be sure it wasn't gonna end in a piñata and a slice of cake. What the fuck was this? The vigilantes doing an exchange with the death squad cops? Were they buying people? What the hell for? None of this made too much sense. These two were serious operatives. One was a band of hired killers and the other supposed to keep the peace. Yet they were doing deals. Now I had to find Giovanna and Marcello. Without a better plan, I thought I'd better follow this bastard. Here was Giovanna and Marcello. What the hell were they about to do to him? gang way of killing people. These are no ordinary street gang. I guess they want people to think they are. With this, they can justify the killings of today and the people they took. Shh. Quem fez isso? Foi um americano. Foi? Foi? He's blaming you for the death of his friend. Porra de americano. Cruz morre, porra. Caralho. Contra ele. Pode deixar, eu mato. After a couple of hours of lying and shit, you learn to appreciate what you've got. And right now, all we had was each other. I was a wreck, and Giovanna, well, I knew what she'd seen no amount of drugs or therapy could erase. That kind of pain follows you around forever. The constant shadow of a wasted life. The poor girl had been through enough. We had to find a way out of there. Giovanna was calling Passos. I didn't know if this was a good place to hide or not. When half the local police force and a crew of paramilitary psychopaths want to send you upstairs, I reasoned the crowd was as good a place as any. At least when we got shot, maybe some kind soul would take a video and put it on the internet. Let's go. I just saw a cop looking at me. All right. Passos said there's a good place to hide in the back. I just try to stay calm. <laughs> I guess this is it. No, keep going. That's a girl. Here, come on. This way. Oh, 
in here. Stay calm, all right? I know this is fucked up. I'm pretty calm. I'm also pregnant. You better be shitting me. Me and Raul, Passos, you call him. We just want to live somewhere away from this shit. I understand. I wanted that too, a long time ago. What happened? Just didn't work out that way. Sorry to hear that. Maybe things will be different. For you two, I mean. Passos is a lucky guy. I don't think these guys are here for your baby shower. Down. Stay out of sight. Disperse and procure por toda parte. Temos que achar a menina e o americano também. Calm down, I said. Calm down? Are you out of your mind? Boa, boa, vamos ver esse filho da puta. Vamos ver eles, lá. They're going to kill us. Giovanna, just wait there. I'm going to be here soon. There isn't going to be a soon if we stay here. We have to move. Giovanna, get down. Riding in on a parade float, we couldn't have made our arrival more obvious. We had to hide someplace out of the open. Oh my god, Max! Come on. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know, but we gotta get the hell out of here. Let's go. We're not going to make it, are we? We'll be fine. We just gotta lay low till Passos gets here. This wasn't looking good. What the hell were Giovanna and Marcelo thinking going in there by themselves? Guess their plan was no more idiotic than mine, and I couldn't really fault them for losing faith in the Bronco's security detail. Let me just check this. We need to get out of the open. A barely recovering alcoholic and an unarmed pregnant woman. We were hardly a SEAL team. I put our life expectancy at five minutes. Hey, if we were lucky. If you can lift me up there, I'll see if I can lower it down. All right. Hmm. 
Ready. Oh. You got it? Giovanna was a brave girl. She wasn't giving up. I guess that meant neither could I. Well done. Janada. Stay close and keep quiet. God damn it! Next room? Uh, yes, I think so. Well, that may be our best bet. Go on, I'll meet you there. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry. I'll find a way through. Just stay quiet and keep down. I was getting good at this. Something. stairs down. Wait a second. I'm going to try something. Breakfast of champions.
Our day had started with us hiding in filth and got progressively worse. My luck was running true to form. Or rather, I was running true to form. Here for fossils? No, it's not safe enough. Come on. Damn it. Max! Quiet! You're the one breaking in. No, you're the one breaking in. Us before? Of course I haven't. Ever shot anybody? No. Well, it's drive or shoot, sister. And right now, I reckon I'll be better at the shooting. Come on, you can do this. All right, now listen to me. I give you the word. I want you to slam it into gear, full on the gas, and drive us the hell out of here. What? Just drive the fucking thing straight and keep on going. Relax. You can do this. Ready? Go. <laughs>
driving. Oh, we gotta get out of here. Quick. Son of a bitch. Quick. Come on. Giovanna, go. I need you to get up to the roof of this building and get the passers. Tell them to wait for me. Now go. Jump. Go. just about to run to the roof when my savior and friend, the man whose unborn child I had just killed for, decided to leave without me. After everything we've been through, I, I saved his girlfriend's life. Who? Raul Passos? Yeah, Raul Passos. Yeah, I don't. I thought you guys were very close. We were. Well, you know what? I did a background check. Jesus. I mean, I thought the two of you worked for Rodrigo Branco. Yeah, so? So? Did you get paid by Victor? Victor? No. Well, Raul Passos did. Six times. Dating back to a few months before you turned up. He even paid for a ticket for him to go to New York. Why? I don't know. My guess is to meet you. But why? I don't know. Maybe he liked you. Maybe he thought you needed a break. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he wanted some dumb gringo to come down here to shoot things up and maybe to take the watch for Rodrigo when he got shot. I don't believe that. Why? Because you're not a dumb gringo? Or because you are? You know, I have no fucking clue anymore. Okay. Let me ask you something. What? Well, what is it that you really thought that you were doing down there in Panama? Hmm? And don't tell me you're so naive as to think you were just down there guarding a woman. <laughs> 